Ministerial Statements. The Honourable Minister of Service, Alberta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is with a heavy heart and profound sorrow that I rise to pay tribute to an esteemed public servant and a gracious and loving family man. The Government of Alberta is mourning the loss of one of our own, our friend, our colleague, and the man lovingly known as Deputy Doug. Doug Lintowski, our beloved Minister of Service Alberta, passed away at the age of 56. I admired him as an honest, hardworking man whose focus and attention was on improving the lives of Albertans, and I admired him as a gracious and generous man who loved his family with every ounce of his being. He is survived by his wife Peggy, his daughter Hillary, and Mr. Speaker, this devoted public servant, a kind and gentle man, lives on in the hearts of all who had the honor and good fortune to work with him. Peggy and Hillary, all of those missed dinners and all of that time that he spent away from you and with us was to make this province a better place. Thank you. Alberta Public Service, Mr. Speaker, has a rich history featuring many devoted individuals whose legacy has shaped the Alberta we know today, and Doug Linkowski is among the finest of these proud and devoted public servants. Having earned his designation as a chartered accountant in 1985, Doug joined Alberta Treasury, where he was the Chief Internal Auditor. Always being a community-minded man, Mr. Speaker, in 1991, he, jo he joined the City of St. Albert and served as its Chief Financial Officer. He led the city's strategic planning process, literally building the community in which he lived, the community in which he raised his daughter Hillary, and the community in which he and Peggy were pillars through their involvement in their community associations. Doug rejoined Alberta Finance in 2003 as Executive Director in the Office of Budget and Management. In this position, Doug was instrumental in implementing business planning standards for government. Doug was appointed Provincial Controller in 2006 and worked closely with the Public Sector Accounting Board to establish accounting standards for government entities across Canada. And in 2011, Mr. Speaker, our Premier appointed Doug as the Deputy Minister of Service Alberta, where he earned the affection and esteem of his staff and colleagues for his warm and effective leadership and genuine open-door policy. In fact, Mr. Speaker, employees in Service Alberta will always remember him as Deputy Doug, an example of his welcome leadership style. He was a tremendous contributor to our entire Deputy Minister team and a key leader in their efforts to continue to renew the Alberta Public Service. There is no doubt, Mr. Speaker, that we worked hard together, we went through a few battles together, uh, and we were in the midst of making significant change together. I wish, Mr. Speaker, we had also spent more time laughing together. I will miss the live play-by-play -play stream of text messages we sent each other. It reminded me, Mr. Speaker, of the feeling I had many years ago while chatting with my friends on MSN Messenger. I knew he was a compassionate man when during our very first meeting, I got a message that a family friend had unexpectedly passed away. At that moment, I first witnessed his thoughtfulness and consideration. It was clear that he did not see me as a minister, but saw beyond that and saw me as a human being with a very personal story. 
God did that, Mr. Speaker. He didn't just see others by the position they held, but rather by the feelings in their heart, desires of their dreams, and all the little things that when added up, form a complete picture of a human's life. I knew he was a considerate man when he would buy me Starbucks because I took a break from Tim Hortons. And in the end, Mr. Speaker, although Doug's professional achievements and skills were immense, it's not his briefing notes that I will miss. It's the way he used to say, yeah, hi, man, me, when he picked up the phone. I know that he is in the comfort of the creator now, Mr. Speaker, because he was a gentle soul, a man that genuinely appreciated everyone that crossed his path. He was a man that showed his appreciation of people by taking the time to get to know them, by reaching out to them, and by, the, and by being gentle with them when they slipped and being generous with them in his appreciation of them. Simply put, he passed the test of being a truly caring human being because he brought up people when they were down, he encouraged them and helped them progress, and he never let them sit in defeat alone. He was always with them. I know, Mr. Speaker, that soon enough, Service Alberta will have another deputy minister, but we will never have a leader so gentle with the hearts of his fellow team members as Doug Winchowski. Peggy and Hillary, no words can fill the void that the loss of dog Doug has left in your hearts, but know that from our hearts to yours, we've all been made better for knowing Doug Linkowski. We will never forget him. God bless you.